two, one, and lift off on our mission to mine the resources on the moon. Mining on moon, it was barely imaginable a hundred years ago and still boggles our minds today. But this might soon become a reality with major world powers drawing up plans, all of which puts India in an interesting yet tricky position. Let us tell you how. For starters, the United States has signed bilateral agreements with 11 states called the Artemis Accords. These agreements open the doors for lunar mining. NASA's website says the Artemis Accords will describe a shared vision for principles grounded in the Outer Space Treaty of 1967 to create a safe and transparent environment which facilitates exploration, science and commercial activities for all of humanity to enjoy. The Accords are a prerequisite for states seeking to join NASA's Artemis program, envisaging a new wave of lunar exploration. The plans are to eventually use the Moon as a launch pad for voyages to Mars and the asteroid belt. As said earlier, the Accords allow for mining on the Moon and other celestial bodies. They also allow states to declare safety zones that could become de facto private property by sustained presence. US-based companies presently dominate the international private space sector and will be the chief beneficiaries of the Artemis Accords. The Artemis program also has a rival in the form of the International Lunar Research Station led by Russia and China. In March 2021, Russia signed an agreement with China to build an International Lunar Research Station ILRS, on the Moon. The two states are actively looking for other governments to collaborate with in developing such a facility. The ILRS project could help couple Russia's long-standing expertise in space travel with China's ambitions and resources. As these two spacefaring states prepare to release their own set of norms by the end of 2021, India is faced with an imperfect choice. Joining either or both programs will aid its own lunar ambitions. But rival blocks could scuttle any chance of creating a widely accepted multilateral framework for space governance. India and Russia had attempted to jointly pursue lunar exploration through the Lunar Research Project. This cooperation has fizzled out in recent years as the two states pursued different timetables for exploring the moon. Historically, the cooperation had been hobbled by the politics of the Cold War and nuclear non-proliferation. However, in recent years, cooperation has grown. India's Chandrayaan-1 moon mission carried two NASA payloads, a miniature synthetic aperture radar which looked for ice in the moon's poles, and a moon mineralogy map. India's space cooperation with China is non-existent. In 2019, China's foreign minister had mentioned it was open to space cooperation with India. However, the Galwan clashes and the subsequent deterioration of relations makes the prospects for cooperation poor. India's options can be broadly placed in three categories. Number one, joining the Artemis program and signing the Artemis Accords. Number two, joining the ILRS and signing the associated document. Number three, joining neither program pursue a new framework via the UN. In theory, neither of these options may be mutually exclusive, which means India can pursue one or more at the same time. But the devil, as always, is in the details. And for that, do check out our latest research, which explores the different options that India has. If you like what we do and want to watch more such content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon.